Hello and welcome to the last video in the module where we are talking about various business strategies. In the first part of the module we talked about generic competitive strategies and in the second part of the module we are moving to interactive business strategies so that how do competitors react to each other. There is one theory, one model, which is a very well-known model that I have to definitely highlight in this module so that the interactive competitive strategies are complete and you get a picture about it. That model is of course game theory. Now, first of all, kind of a disclaimer, I want to do game theory video for business strategy purposes. I do not want to do microeconomics extensive video about game theory. There are entire YouTube channels and, and courses talking about game theory only. It is really extensive and super useful economic idea. So I just want to give you a basic idea and if you are interested in, go ahead, study it further. It's really wonderful. So let's find some definition. Game theory encourages an organization to consider competitors' likely moves and the implications of these moves for its own strategy. So this really is about the interaction between two or more competitors. If I do something, what will my competitor do? There are certain points that we need to understand. So firstly, what will be a competitor response? If I have some assumptions about what will happen in the future, I need to consider what the competitor will do because his action can change the original assumptions that I had. So I clearly need to think about what he will do. Secondly, there are some strategic signals or messages that we might see upon our competitors and thanks to that predict what they will do in the future. So I'm right now considering a certain business strategy. I look at my competitors, at the signals, at the messages that he is sending and using them I will adjust my own business strategy so that it's as great as possible because I will predict what my competitor will do. As you can see the game theory is really encouraging the idea of interdependence between competitors. We are all connected in the market, all companies uh, that are within an industry or within a geographical region share the same economical pie. There is just a limited number of users that can purchase the products and we as competitors are trying to obtain the market share. While we are doing so, we are interdependent. If one competitor does something, then other competitor is going to react to it. Now. We need to get in the mind of competitors, that's the matter of course. And secondly, we should think forwards and reason backwards. So we are thinking what will happen in the market if I pursue certain business strategy and then I reason backwards to what should be a sensible reaction right now? What should I really do right now? What would be reasonable for me? Now, what would that be of a game theory video if we didn't discuss prisoner's dilemma? That is already a nice example, nice use case of a game theory. Let's go for it. Imagine two prisoners. These two prisoners are put into separate cells. They cannot hear each other, they cannot talk with each other, and there will be two interrogators interrogating both of these prisoners. Now, both of them have two options. Either they stay silent about the crime that they uh, did together. If they do so, well, then it's going to be a very favorable situation for both of them. They both stayed silent, so both of them are going to be accused only of some small crime and they are both maybe going to receive just one year punishment. On the other hand, they can talk and they can tell everything about the crime that they did together. If only one of them talks and the other one stays silent, then the other one, then the one that admitted to the crime is going to receive no punishment at all, while the other one is going to receive a very severe punishment of 10 years. So um, both of them clearly have a motivation to talk because they are hoping that they will be the one that talk while the other one stays silent so that they get out uh, of the jail and they receive no punishment. In the last situation, which is that they both talk about the crime that they committed together, 
they both are going to receive quite a severe punishment of maybe five or seven years. Which one of these situations is going to happen? Well, according to the pure game theory, a situation where both of them talk should happen. None of them can rely on the fact that the other one will stay silent as well if I stay silent. So, both of them are going to talk about the crime that they committed together, so they are going to receive quite a severe punishment of 5 to 7 years. What's the takeaway? The takeaway is that if they cooperated together, they might both stay silent and they would receive a very small punishment, so they would be both much better off uh, out of this situation. So, that is a very basic description of a prisoner's dilemma. Now, let's look at the real-world application of a prisoner's dilemma. The kind of situation two interdependent competitors could get into is represented in the prisoner's dilemma matrix of this figure. Suppose the two main aircraft manufacturers, Airbus and Boeing, were both under pricing pressure, perhaps because of failing demand. They each have to decide whether to announce radical price cuts or hold their prices up. If both choose to hold their prices, neither gets an advantage of the other and they both get the returns represented in the top left quadrant of this picture. For the sake of illustration, each mine earned profits 500 million. However, if one competitor pursues the radical price cuts, on their own, while the other does not, the pattern of returns might be quite different. The radical price cutter attracts a significant larger share of airline customers and earns 700 million profits through spreading fixed costs over greater sales, while the market share losing competitor earns only 100 million. This situation might tempt one of the competitors to choose radical price cuts for two reasons. First, there is a prospect of higher profits, but second, there is the risk of the other competitor cutting prices while leaving them behind. The problem is that if each reasons in the same way, the two competitors will both cut prices at once. They will thus set off a price war in which neither gains share and they both end up with the unsatisfactory return of just 300 million, which is in the bottom right quadrant. You see, the prisoner's dilemma has an application in a real world, and essentially game theory has a lot of applications in the real world. So, if you are interested in this theory, go ahead and study it, I would really encourage it. However, unfortunately, this course should have some limited timeline, so I cannot go in detail into game theory, but I hope that I gave you a nice idea and a brief overview of what game theory might reveal to you when it comes to business administration and business strategy. I'm looking forward to see you in the next videos.